Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. Good morning. It's Saturday, December 21st. I'm Eva Pilgrim. Here's what we're following for you right now on Action News. Police are investigating a spree of tire slashings overnight in South Philadelphia. A new computer virus is targeting holiday shoppers and over the river and through the woods. Travelers are heading out for the holidays. We'll have those stories and more in just a moment. But first, the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and that travel forecast depends on where you are traveling to what you'll have to deal with. Yeah, well, if you're traveling up and down the eastern seaboard instead of December 21st, it's going to feel like April 21st <laughs> out there. So I mean, Mother Nature's a little confused, but fortunately, a lot of the rough weather will stay to our west this weekend. So there's a little bit of good news there. And then, of course, temperatures as we go live on Sky 6, temperatures are just going to be outrageously warm for this time of the year. We're talking low to mid 60s potentially today and then maybe even 70 degrees for Sunday. That's crazy considering just how cold it's been over the past, uh, let's say, week to 10 days or so. Actually, it's been a little bit longer than that. 54 degrees in Philadelphia. You can see all the clouds out there this morning. And believe me, if we get into any kind of sunshine today, we're already here. I mean, we could very easily topple 62, which is what we're forecasting. So it, the upside is a lot greater than the downside with the forecasted temperatures. Millville 56, Wildwood 57, Trenton's at 46. They're colder to the northwest because of the snowpack on the ground, but a lot of that is going to continue to melt. And once we get into Sunday, even the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos are going to see temperatures at least into the 60s, maybe even 70 degrees. Here's the wider view on Satellite 6 along with Action Radar. Big storm across the heartland of the nation. You've got freezing rain, sleet, snow, heavier rains. You got everything out here. But again, fortunately, this storm system over the next couple of days will pass on by to the northwest, move right along that U.S. Canadian border. Its trailing cold front will slide through here. That may bring a couple showers, but the rough stuff, the heavy weather will stay to our west. So for today, cloudy and warm areas of fog this morning. Some of that's going to be rather dense, especially north and west of the city. We're looking at a high of 62 degrees when all is said and done. And again, potentially record temperatures move in here for tomorrow. Several records are going to be shattered. We're forecasting a high of 70 degrees. Along with it does come the chance of a little rain, especially tomorrow afternoon. And then it does turn colder for Christmas Day. I'll have all the details in that seven-day forecast when I come back along in just a bit. Eva? All right, thanks, Chris. Okay. The warmer weather could mean big crowds and long lines for everyone looking for those last-minute holiday gifts. Today is Super Saturday, one of the busiest shopping days of the year. Many malls and stores have extended hours as people finish up their shopping. With only four days left until Christmas, many shoppers are just grabbing their last minute gifts, but that's not everyone. I feel like we're almost done just putting the final touches on everything. 